Hello, <coughs> uh, I'm Yongho, the slumber man. All right, so um, <coughs> I when I was in um, when I was in when we lived in Santiago in 1992. So when I was like. Ten, I think we stay at this um, friend's dad's friend's house and um, I remember it was I don't know if it was the entire year or like a, for the summer season but there was a very loud uh, rock music party like some sort of party that involved rock music um, until at least 3 a.m. Uh, almost every night and um, not not part of our house some other house but um, you could hear the like you know I remember we were trying to sleep and um, you could hear the muffed screams through the mic like ah you know rock and roll etc and um, and then the drum was it either the drum or the bass that go like boom, boom, chi, boom, boom, chi, boom, boom. and um, <laughs> we're trying to sleep <laughs> and there's no way we could sleep I don't know why you know I complained I guess it was I, I have no idea what it was but I think that uh, uh, that trained me to be able I, I, I don't think I managed to sleep through that one but that experience, I think, man, uh, trained me to sleep, be able to sleep in any circumstance. So um, uh, some of the top uh, occasions in which I slept are, let's see, uh, I think there's three. There's top three. Wait, where's the pen? Okay. Um, Top three. Um, I think in our senior year, we went to this field trip from our high school, and uh, uh, we were at the discotheque, I think. People were dancing, right? And um, I was tired. I'm not interested. So I was like, I'm gonna sleep, okay? And like, I'm kind of stuck here until next day at like seven, I guess, because there's no uh, transportation option. So I just laid down somewhere in the couch, I think, and I slept there. Well, the music was blaring so <coughs> that was one another was uh, oh yeah okay another was I was in Korea and um, the, the time was 2002 June I think July July and it was Korea versus um, uh, Italy. Okay. Um, and uh, people were like, "Ah! Oh my God! We are lose. We are We are losing! Oh my God! We tied! Oh my God! Yok Jungle and stuff." So people were watching TV. I was in my. We were in my brother's high school, I think. People were watching TV, and there are all these people. All these slaves of nationalism in Korea. And I was like, dude, I'm not interested. I'm tired. So I went to a corner, and I slept. <clears throat> During the game. Number three, 
And I think my mom came wake me up when Korea made the two to one, and I was like, okay, cool. I'm gonna go back to sleep. All right, number three was uh, <laughs> how did this happen? I have no idea. So we had a farewell party here in LA, uh, farewell dinner for staff was uh, leaving, and um, so we went to a barbecue place. So we're sitting on the table, eating the barbecue. And I was super tired. So I was eating um, and trying to stay focused. And I was like this and like listening to what people were saying. And um, I think there are some portions in which I was interested in what they're talking. I was like, oh, okay. And then there's some portions in which I wasn't so much interested. I was like, oh, okay, that's kind of boring. It's kind of boring. And I was eating and then I felt I like this for like five minutes. They woke up. I was like, "Oh my God, Yongho, you are sleeping standing. I mean, sitting in a restaurant <laughs> with meat in front of you." <laughs> so, uh, I think there is this. This thing just happened that you know that puts this top three at rest. Um, so this all happened on on the Monday. Yeah, because on Monday. Um, <clears throat> Let's see. Yep, there we go. Uh, how can I see past days? I can't. Well, anyway, it doesn't show up here anymore, but um. Monday was a hundred a hundred degrees, I think. So um, Sunday evening was okay, but Monday evening I remember it was like a, oh my god! Wait, this is June twenty eighth next week. All right. Um, <coughs> so Monday was a hundred degrees, and uh, in the evening it was still hot. It was still like. 80 I think oh my god it was like 80 and um, I've gotten sick uh, before uh, after keeping the AC on all night um, so I was like I, I don't want to get sick so um, I was trying to cool down the house by leaving the windows open I um, I live in a, in a corner uh, room in our apartment so there's like that window and another window that we can't reach from here but there's another window on another side so usually most of the time um, the wind flows through the place and this this place stays pretty cool and that's that's neat and um, so I was hoping to get some wind through and cool down the place so I turned various fans on and kept them on and I was like okay it will it cool down 9 p.m. no Will it cool down? 11 p.m. No, midnight. And I was like, uh, I think I even went to bed, and then I came back saying, you know, um, it's too hot. I can't sleep. I want to leave the AC on. So uh, maybe I'll just work on something because I was working on the Aigo Koreano website, and I was like, man, I'll just work on this until it becomes. Um, Cool it be, until it become until it cools down, <laughs> and I didn't know when it was gonna be. So I stayed up until like three thirty, and it was still too hot. So, but no, no, I think at three thirty it was manageable. It was like seventy five, and um, so I went to bed, and uh, I went, it's not a big deal. Next day I woke up at seven. I went to work, and uh, not a big deal. I was a little bit sleepy around four p.m., but it was okay. Uh, that was like Tuesday and then yesterday uh, <laughs> I think because of that as soon as they if, if we had the Aigo Koreano class um, I, I, um, I started having uh, uh, bleeding nose so I had to lie down and as soon as I lie down I fell asleep and because I slept uh, in the early evening 
Um, again, I had trouble sleeping at <laughs> midnight, so I can't stay up until three. So I was, oh no, this vicious cycle starts. No, I can't. I need to stop it. So again, I was a little sleepy. And today I came back home and um, took a shower, then kind of like crashed into the bed. I was like, and I was like, and I started sleeping, or kind of like consciously, like I was conscious, but. Um, uh, <coughs> was kind of conscious but uh, kind of sleeping so here's the bed I like kind of crashed I guess and like kind of sleeping um, in this weird half conscious uh, stage and um, uh, I was like this for I don't know let's see this happened Um, maybe like an hour or half an hour and then JP uh, uh, colleague calls um, JP had asked me to produce a map of um, uh, help him to do some some geographic analysis uh, here. some geographic analysis I was like sure cool you know I, I, I can do it this seems, sounds pretty easy like an easy math problem and uh, I have been I think I've been playing with it so he called to ask what's up you know is there progress on this on this thingy and um, so I was half asleep so I couldn't articulate myself terribly well and I was trying to say uh, I was trying to convey uh, no it's not ready but um, it's not ready but uh, I, I tried doing it today morning and I found some definitional problems uh, which uh, which probably I, I needed to get them defined or something like that that's the extent that I can remember even now but when I was half asleep I, I had an even harder time articulating that so I was like I was like oh. and then the phone call comes in I'm like okay all right um, oh yeah that project yes um, yeah there I, I, I tried doing it and there's this problem and he's like oh what's, what's the problem and I was like I was trying to gather my thoughts and I couldn't gather my thoughts I was like I couldn't I can't remember so it was very this very um, weird uh, weirdly paced conversation where JP says something and I'm like five seconds later I managed to say a few words um, and, and so forth and um, I was like oh, okay and um, well then you know let me know when you get it done and I think I said like okay and I thought at that point the conversation was over because we had discussed everything so I, I think I said oh, okay the, the phone call is over and I kind of relaxed and because I relaxed I fell asleep again or something <laughs> and then when I regained consciousness I could hear myself snoring so and then JP said oh yo were you just sleeping with your phone on you <laughs> and, I like, and I was trying to explain that this is what happened a moment ago like you know I was holding my phone I was crashing the bed and I had relaxed and I had fallen asleep um, because of all that but <laughs> I was not awake enough to explain it enough so um, yeah here's my uh, my new uh, landmark uh, my new landmark new achievement unlocked uh, uh, falling asleep in the middle of a phone conversation with a colleague Ta da